Hey guys, this is Kitching. At AU this year, a lot of you have asked me how you should create assemblies in Fusion 360, how you should put parts together. As many of you know, Fusion 360 uses joints to put parts together instead of constraints and mates. One of the things that I don't think our videos cover deep enough is the joint disc itself and why it looks like the way it is. Why is it not a square? Why is it not a triangle? Why is it a circle that's half um, empty and half full? So what you see here is a physical model of the joint disc that I modeled. And if you go to the joint command at the toolbar, when you hover over certain areas, notice that there's this little disc that follows your cursor. When you hover over various snap points, this disc changes orientation. So sometimes it'll flip over, sometimes it'll change colors, and this is all depending on what you select. So I'm gonna go into more detail in, in terms of what this disc does by showing you a physical model. So this disc, as you notice, has a half of it is an open section and half of it is full. If we look at this dead on, and focus on this flat area, you can think of this flat area as your x axis. So what this means is there's a negative x and a positive x. If you look at this open area and the open curved area, the, the direction going uh, towards the, the curved area, you can think of that as your positive y. This is essentially the up direction. And similar to positive y, there's a negative. So if you look at this full area, this um, filled half circle, this is your negative y. So it's essentially a quadrant system. And what's most important about this joint disc is the z in the up and down direction, because we are in a 3D space. So the positive Z, so essentially the up direction for a 3D environment, is your top. This top section is your positive Z. Now, you notice that when I apply a joint somewhere, when you flip it over, it changes color. Now, I've physically painted this bottom to be yellow, but it notice, see now, if I snap to that point, that's yellow. And that's because this is to show you that you're looking at the bottom of a specific plane. So whereas this top area is positive Z, this bottom area is negative Z. And with this in mind, this is where you can now better understand what joints you're applying. So what does this mean? Let's look at some examples. I'm gonna turn these axes off and I'm gonna turn on the second joint disc on. Let's apply some joints to these two discs. And uh, what I want to do is to have this gray disc uh, joined on top of this white disc and have both of the openings lined up. So what I'm gonna do is go to the joint command and start with the gray disc. So whatever joint you apply on the first uh, part, that part is gonna move to your second part or your second component. So I'm gonna actually flip this over and apply a joint uh, on, the, on this face of the part, or right now I'm on the bottom view. Uh, so I'm going to hold down the command key, and I think on PC is the control key, but if I hold down the command key, this is going to let me snap to some points of interest. Now notice that when I, when I, uh, when I hover over this, and I move just a bit, the disk flips, uh, flips direction. That open area flips direction. So the good, th the thing that you want to keep in mind is when you want to line up uh, parts with other parts, um, the open area of one joint should fit with the closed area of the other. Okay. So if this air, if this joint here, if my open area is pointing to the opening uh, of this 
disk, this physical disk, right? Opening with the open. If I set that as my first one, then the second one that I set on my second component, this one needs to be the reverse, okay? So as I hold down command or control on the PC, I'm going to make it so that the the filled area of the joint disk uh, is pointing towards the open area of the physical joint disk. <laughs> so if I click on that, that's going to come over. Notice it doesn't line up, and that's because my angle is set to negative 90. Um, I'm going to set this to zero, and if I set this to zero, now the opening is aligned. And if I click OK, now I have the two lined up with each other. Now let's look at a more real world example. So if I switch over to this part and I want this bolt to be bolted on to um, this, this driving disk essentially. So kind of similar to the previous example, I'm going to go to my joint option. I'm going to select this, uh, start with this bolt. So I'm going to hover over the bottom face of um, this bolt surface here. I'm going to hold down command and apply it right in the middle here. Now I'm going to go to the, the top face of this, uh, this uh, driving disk, right? Hover over the center and notice that um, the direction of both joint disks are reversed. And that's what you want. Uh, if you want it to essentially um, face the right direction. In this case, it doesn't really matter, but um, this is what you typically would want to do. Uh, so if I click on that, this is going to snap into place. Um, one thing that is nice about joints is that if for whatever reason this is off, uh, you could change the angle, you could actually even flip the direction. Um, in this case, we don't want to because this is now inside this driving disk, which, which physically can't be possible. Um, so you could flip the direction, you can offset it, you can give it an angle. Um, so you could still make some corrections from there. Uh, here in this case, I'll change this type to cylindrical. And this gives it a more realistic uh, motion. And uh, I would even further on... Uh, to uh, add some joint limits so it doesn't go through the driving disk and so on. I'm going to click OK. And so I hope that understanding this joint disk and all the various um, nuances around the disk itself, the direction, why there's a half open, half closed, uh, I hope this gives you guys a better understanding of how to use joints. So let me know if this video was useful, um, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Um, also, talking about Autodesk University, I want to give it a big shout out to all our users that attended, all the people that have taught classes, you guys are awesome. Big shout out to Peter Doring, Klaus, uh, John Grismo from Grismo Knives, Amish from SS CAD Cam, John Saunders for, for running a, a three-day CNC class, that was just pure awesomeness pure awesomeness guys alice lobos for teaching a really cool class as well in t-splines um and all our award winners and this you guys are are what makes our community so vibrant so thank you so much happy holidays and um hope to see you guys soon all right